Now, one of the things you can do is if each and every one of you sat down and said, who are the people on your team? What's the opportunity? What's the context? How do these all relate to each other? That would be one thing. But what you really want to do in life is to change the game, to improve each of those elements and their relationship to each other. So John hired, the next person he hired was a salesperson. Now this man had sold a billion dollars a year in products from Colgate or Clorox to a little company called Walmart. And he lived in a small town called Bentonville, Arkansas. So if you're going to hire a sales guy for a mass market product, Bentonville, Arkansas is the place you want to go. And this guy was loved by the Walmart buyers. So he had great relationships. That's the only sales guy John ever hired. Second thing he did was he ran some experiments. He produced some prototypes. He tried them out in the retail channel. And it turned out they sold through at 50 times the sell-through rate of manual toothbrushes. So he had some evidence on the basis of which he was able to get his Chinese partner to increase the level of production. The other thing he did was he came up with a two-year product plan because he knew someone would copy his product. And he wanted to be able to introduce a new product when they did. So he had already designed a series of follow-on products that were intended to be better than the first. I'll come back to Crest in a second. So let me tell you what happened and why this turned out to be an interesting story. First-year sales were 45 million. Pretty good, right? First-year income, 20 million. Now I know for you all this is small potatoes and really not very interesting and, you know, got my attention. He had nine people in the company. I like that, too. Um, and he sold it to Procter & Gamble. So what did he sell it for? Well, let's see, he got $165 million cash, down payment. Then he had a little earn out. And when it was all done, John and his colleagues, on a million dollars in capital, had gotten $475 million in cash. 